Two aid workers, including an American who grew up in Westmoreland County, were found dead in the Congo. Now the U.S. has issued a travel warning due to instability and violence there. Ross Kadani spoke with the victim's friend about his mission overseas. Although it's been a very long time, Michael Butai remembers his childhood friend from Scottsdale, Michael Sharp, fondly. Growing up, we had a lot of fun, a lot of good times. We were kids, we were all troublemakers. <laughs> Decades would pass, and Sharp would find his purpose trying to resolve troubles. As a UN aid worker, the 34 year old was on an 18 month tour in the Congo. His job helped bring peace. He would die trying to do just that. To be willing to go into a place like that unarmed. Um, I take takes a lot of guts to do that, um, you know, and then for someone to take his life and the lives of the others in that manner, um, it's cowardly. Sharp and several colleagues were murdered as they went to a Congolese village to investigate allegations of human rights violations. And of all the people that I know, whether it's in a war zone or not in a war zone, uh, you can't imagine it would have happened to him of all people. Butai says, though it's been many years since he's seen his childhood buddy, he's proud of how Michael Sharp was willing to risk it all so others might live in peace. You did what you wanted to do, and you lived your life that way. He had a lot of courage and says a lot about his character and who he, who he is, who he was. The U.N., meanwhile, continues the investigation into what happened to Michael Sharp and the two other aid workers. As of right now, there are still no arrests. Westmoreland County, Ross Scadotti, KDK TV News.